mental, physical and sexual abuse by a family member. Hi guys, I'm Elena Semenek, your online psychologist and the founder of this YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Today is a Q&A video. You write your question in the comments of any of my videos or send it to me on my website and I create a video answer for you. I replace your name with an imaginary name to protect your privacy. Today we are going to talk about mental, physical and sexual abuse by a family member. Miss B, who is in her 50s, writes to me. I experienced mental, physical and sexual abuse from my mother's side of the family. Grandfather was the abuser. My mother died after giving birth to my brother at the age of 33. We stayed with my mother's family since that time. The abuse was continuously repeated until 2001. I was also abused by my boss. I feel stuck in the mud. I can no longer continue living in abuse. I don't know what to do or where to start. My priority is to find a job and see you privately. For now, I continue watching your free webinars. Please recommend which one I should watch. Thank you for your help. Thank you, Ms. B, for sharing your story. Thank you for trusting me and for seeking my advice. I don't have a free webinar specifically for the topic of family abuse, but I recommend watching the webinar called Resentment Towards Parents. This webinar might give you some answers. When a child loses their mother, they can feel like they have been betrayed. We cannot control death, and being an adult, we understand that it was not our mom's fault that she died. But for a child, the death of a parent is the deepest version of betrayal. So she left you, she was not able to protect you, and she is no longer there to support you. You did not write anything about your father, and you said that you were raised by your grandparents. Therefore, I am assuming that he was not present in your life either. Probably you have lots of resentment and hidden anger towards your father as well. He is your father and it was his responsibility to protect you, but he failed. So you were a child and you lost both of your parents' protection. The people who were supposed to take care of you were your grandparents. But instead of being shown love and care, you were sexually abused by your grandparent. And the other grandparent, unfortunately, also failed to protect you. You were living with constant betrayal and you were able to survive through this painful childhood. When I was reading your email, I felt pain and your inner strength at the same time. You have to have a strong soul to survive through this painful, repeated betrayal and abuse. Often victims of abuse end up in other abusive relationships or in other toxic relationships, whether at, wor or at work or in a romantic relationship. Your psyche is looking for closure. It might sound strange and you might not agree with me, but your psyche is trying to recreate the abusive situation from your childhood in order to find a different outcome, in order to find the different ending for the abusive story. You need to learn how to say no. You need to learn how to see abusive behavior so you won't get abused again. This is why you are subconsciously attracted to abusers in your life. You are looking for closure for a new outcome. If you don't learn how to protect yourself, if you don't learn how to notice abusive behavior, you might stay stuck in this painful cycle. Abusers can spot a person with a victim behavior and will be drawn to you. Please watch two of my free webinars. The first one is resentment towards parents. And the second one is healthy boundaries, why people can't say no. Also, try to find the support group for people who were raised in an abusive family. Usually these groups are free. Start working on yourself. 
Find people who also went through this type of pain. Support groups can be very beneficial. Please don't be afraid to ask for help. And of course, when you have an opportunity to work with a therapist one-on-one, -on -one, please do it. Please find your therapist. Again, thank you very much. Thank you for sharing your story and thank you for trusting me. Dear viewers, please uh, click like on this video to support Ms. B. And please share your kind words in the comments below. Ms. B is very brave and very strong. She needs our support. Let's support her with likes and with kind words. If you want me to answer your questions, please send them in the comments below of this video or through my website, elenasemenek.com. All the webinars that I mentioned in this video, you can watch for free. The links are in the video description. Also, you can go to my website and watch all my webinars for free. Again, my name is Elena Semenek and this is Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Please support Ms. B with likes and consider subscribing and sharing this video with your friends and family. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye.